I'm gonna make this fit to this, like that. So hopefully it's a cool shot. <laughs> so just as like a little tester. Oh yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, I mean that looks awesome. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's what it's gonna look like. I need to make a cradle for it. Oh yeah, I think it's gonna be great. So the only thing that needs to be exposed is this lens, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, and we need to be able to press the buttons, the top button. This one? Yeah, the red one. Okay. All right, so it's gonna be a solid rod like this, go through and then turn. Mm -hmm. So that way it'll have like this plate and it'll just do that, right? Mm -hmm. And nest down here. The problem is that with the weight being on the side, is it gonna keep turning? Mm. So we need like a stop or something. Mm -hmm. Or how complicated would it be to get that width mm -hmm. and make something that kind of like folds around it that like push all the way back in, you mm. rotate, and then it like cu cups it. Yeah, so that means it's gonna have a little bit of an extension just a little bit, just yeah, like that's fine. touch off. Yeah. Weird. God damn smart. <laughs> So this is the first iteration of the camera pen tool mount. So I tried to make it as basic as possible. I made a square that fits the camera like this. And then this hole is for that lens. That hole is for the recording button. I even put a little indentation so that way it wouldn't sit weird inside the box. Yeah. So what should happen here is that we'll insert the tail into this cavity, turn it, and it'll pull about an eighth of an inch out, and that's where these two catches, courtesy of Walker, will keep it from turning, and that weight is gonna be offset, so that way this, uh, those tails will keep it from turning and keep right. it steady. So, cool. we shall see. All right, so, Here's the magic print box. is done. It's a nice print. It looks cool. It looks like it'll fit. All right, so first, let's see if it fits in there. <gasps> oh, oh, yeah. All right, oh Dude. yeah, look at that. Oh my God, you're good. Thank you, oh, all right. Uh, well, uh, you're, you're- Oh, I know what I did wrong. You're pretty good. <laughs> I did, <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> yeah. I did it from the very edge instead oh, of the inside. Uh-huh, the inside corner. Yeah. I mean, you can still press it. Yeah. <laughs> I got a drill. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's the first test. So mm -hmm. it fits in like that. We turn it. Okay, so you see how it has a little bit of a lean? Yeah. I can maybe trim that up by like a, maybe a 16th, but that's gonna be pretty close. Mm -hmm. We could also like shove like a, a shim in there or yeah. something. So let's see. Oh, that actually keeps it sturdy. Yeah. The extra weight helps. Yeah. So, all right, so let's look at problems that we have. So it already wiggles a little bit, mm -hmm. right? Like this way. So I can, I think the way to, you can't make it any wider this way because it won't fit in there, right? Like that's our our tolerance. Mm -hmm. And it seems to kind of roll. I wonder why that is. Oh, because it's, you know, it's curved in the front. Uh. So it's gonna want to roll naturally. Uh -huh. So we need a way it doesn't necessarily need to come up flat. Yeah. But it needs to not roll at all. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we're looking at here. I oh, can't turn it on. So it's leaning a little bit. So what if I printed out a U, mm -hmm. right? Like a half a washer. Yeah. So when we put it here, you I just, just shove it down there. Yeah. And then I just gotta make it long enough so that we can get it out. It's just a locking mechanism. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like a, a pin. Yeah. All right. That's the next iteration. That's a great idea. Say hi to Wyatt. Woo! Hey guys. Stopping in to grab some stuff of mine. Um, I just saw this really cool thing that these guys are doing. This is rad with the GoPro mount. Mm -hmm. GoPro, what? Uh, DJI 4, right? Yeah, DJI Action 4. What's a, it's a great idea. I gotta make this, sorry, this is like where my brain's at right now. 
I also want to see if I can shim up this tolerance mm. so that way it doesn't have any wiggle. Wiggle. Like left and right. Yeah. Just make some wedges. Yeah, but I want to make it perfect. Iteration two is going to be perfect. <laughs> and if it's not, iteration three will be closer. Yeah. Cut to iteration two, three, two. This is either gonna be astounding or it's gonna be way off. <laughs> Round two. So, we have the second print. Uh oh. Oh, oh, it's two pieces. Yeah. So, <laughs> we have the second print and we did some modifications. First, I wanna make sure that it still fits in there. Mm. It does. You got the power button there. Might be a little hard to touch. Let's try it. Yeah. Okay, I can do that. That button is a little better lined up. Not perfect, but definitely yeah, it's usable. It's definitely good enough. I also changed some tolerances around. So now, oh. you see that's like a little bit more snug. Yeah. Kind of clicks in. So now here's the part that I think will solve the issue. So I made this little hook with a tail. It's gonna go in the same way. I'm gonna turn it, and it should uh, snap into place. And then you can really, so I think that it's right in there. So yeah, it is. A little bit of wiggle, not too That's bad. That's way better though. Dude. Dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it works. So, uh, well I guess we, I guess we gotta try it. Yeah. <laughs> what do you wanna draw? You know exactly what I wanna draw. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm pretty. I'm proud of you. Fuck <laughs> 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 you! <laughs> All right, you ready? Yep. What's up, boss? Yep, hope the trip is going well. Now the plasma cutter's running 24 seven. We're shipping out shelf brackets. Things are better than ever. All right, bye.